All right, everybody. What we're doing today is a photography class. We've got a couple of kids. One of them's my little girl. The other's her boyfriend, but they're learning photography. And so we come up here to downtown Chattanooga and we practice a skill every week. It's basically my way of passing on the knowledge that I do have, what little there is of it. And it allows us to see some really neat scenery in the city like this. We're up here at what is called the Bluff View Art District. And we're gonna do a class today on something from photography. We got a book. Let's see what we're gonna do today. That's Teresa having to sit in the sun in December. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> this is Chattanooga in December. You know, so it's it's really hot and all. Why are you putting that coat on for? <laughs> All right, the first part of the class is review and tests over the videos they were supposed to watch. So who watched the video? I did. I'm parental controlled out of watching the video. I can't open it. It says, you can't go to this website. You turn in yours and I'm yeah. so. It's because you can't stay off Pinterest. Now. What's on the Pinterest? <laughs> okay. Who, who was in the video? Peter McKinnon and his friend. Because Peter McKinnon is awesome. <laughs> and that other guy that he was with, I don't know. Probably Maddie. Probably. From Travel Fields? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Maddie is also awesome. Guys, as Target and his assignment at the very struggle. Think outside the box with your portraits, capture the personality of your subject, work with your subject. This helps bring out what is special about your subject. Talk to your subject, talk about what they like to do, incorporate part of their life into the portraits. Props helps with personalizing photos. Use photography lights. The lights make your picture sharp. <laughs> Pocket wizards are cool accessories. Carry extra batteries when using strobes. And natural light is totally fine too. Strobes do make pictures better and more professional photos. Okay, Sierra did her assignment and it says, okay, so first off, if you're shooting portraits, you need to, to know the person at least a little bit beforehand so that you can know what they like and what they like to do in their free time. That way you can use props to bring out their personality in the picture. That's a good idea. Also, if you just play around while you're taking the pictures, they will get more comfortable in front of the camera and you'll be able to get better shots. Using lighting is also generally a good idea too. Very good. Ah, I'm winning. You get an extra half start for you. Gosh dang it. You're winning by a fourth of the start. <laughs> by the way, this whole star program is the biggest deal ever. Okay, let's see here. It's getting a little cold. Let's change that. Let's get a little bit of a coat. Let's. There we go. That's much better. Now it's a lot warmer. Okay, today's lesson is on positive and negative space and how to use it to help tell the story in your photograph. So we're going to go around back here and see what they can come up with. I see them flying flashes already. Flying flashes. I see them firing flashes already. There they are. See the flash? Well, I got distracted with a guy flying a DJI Spark, and it was really too cool to pass up. All right, well, we finally decided to go to Community Pie in downtown, and now I'm parking, and I have to pay to park. So let's get that out of the way. That's where we're going. <laughs> How you doing? Hey. Hey y'all, if you, if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when I drop another video, hit that little bell next to it. Don't forget, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know. And I always like reading comments. So if you've got one of them, drop me a comment. Let me know what you like about the video, what you don't like. But if you have any questions, give me a holler. I'll talk to y'all soon.